So Harrison Ashby is going to be off to Newcastle and he joins a list of Will Greenwich, Aji Elisi, uh, Pierre Equa. Uh, over the years, there's been people like Reese Oxford, Jeremy Ngakia, um, uh, other players like Dan, like years ago, like Dan Potts, that's uh, got a brother in the academy, obviously, relatives all run through West Ham, whatever. Uh, there's so many fucking players. There's Kyle Noyle from years ago. There's Jordan Spence. I think he came from our academy. I know Pierre Qua actually was bought from Chelsea, but you know what I mean. Dapo Afalaya was in our academy for a bit. Um, uh, there's a lot of players, actually. There's a lot of players that uh, we will never, ever, ever see. Never, ever see the best of. And uh, let's talk about the academy of football. Now, I have defended Moyes before in stages when it comes to young players. I thought everyone was being a bit harsh on him when it came to, listen, he's not going to bring any young player through. If they're not good enough, they're not good enough. Now, I don't think Elise was good enough as much as I liked him. As much as he should have played in that game against Arsenal, we'll run over our centre-back to said he played Cresswell there. Um... I don't... I, I didn't see enough of Pierre Acquire. He saw a few youth games and it didn't... Uh, didn't uh, like brighten my interest. Uh, Longello, I thought, could be good enough. He's on line up permanent. I've seen some games for him where he's played well, some games where he's been a bit too rash. I wasn't sure about Ashby at first when I first ever saw him, but as, I, as he played more, it was that Zagreb game. I was like, I'm going to pay attention to this guy more. Whereas I was watching more youth games, I was like, yeah, yeah he's ready. He's ready. And you saw against the, in the Tottenham game in the Carabao Cup, he was ready. He didn't make mistakes. Coming up against, uh, I think it was Bergwijn at the time. Uh, so yeah, that a very experienced. Uh, he's got he's got that dog in him, as they say. Uh, and Newcastle, he's going to Newcastle for three million, and is to uh, get more money because uh, paid contract. Uh, we didn't uh, pay a first team wage. This has been going on since the summertime. Uh, I don't know why West Ham would want to wait out for a bigger payout in the summertime when the guy's just going to be here a lot. Okay, now, Ashby has never been a guy to have an attitude, um, uh, from what I know of. Uh, he probably frustrated they couldn't get into the first team because they were this dross that was played at right back, especially this season. I think Carrera can play right back in possession. Out of possession, obviously, there's some question marks. Seafal and Johnson have been shite. Uh, ben Johnson and Declan Rice and a few, uh, uh, the few players that have made it out. I think Ashby will be better than Johnson. Uh, uh, nothing against Johnson, but it's been a, a few question marks from me, uh, personally. Um, and I think Ashby is good enough at his age to play in the first team in the Premier League. Uh, the problem with this is you have to offer the wage that he wants because these are good youngsters that we're missing out on you see Ferguson for Brighton you see Bashetic for Liverpool like they're bringing through Ben Doak as well they've got Harvey Elliott um Man United have got that Maino guy uh uh I'm trying to there's a there's a few youngsters that have been playing and I don't know whether Jaden Anthony came through Bournemouth's academy but he's he's a good young player um, there's, they've got Zamura as well. I don't know whether he came through the academy, but good, good player. Like people are bringing through players, uh, and we're not. Now we we shouldn't, as I said, we shouldn't bring through just anyone. But when the players are good enough, like uh, Josh Cullen, who we let go to Burnley, he's playing really well now. He will play in the Premier League. He will do well in the Premier League. Uh, and we shouldn't have let him go in the first place. He should have been in that squad. But we finished six. Uh, and the way there were bullshitting about the finances at the time, putting him, giving him to Anderlecht. Bullshit. And we should have gone back when we were linked to him again. I think Conor Coventry can become a good squad player, yet to be seen whether he can fill in anyone's boots in the Premier League, but I've seen enough. I think he can. Uh, <clears throat> but this is the problem. When Ashby said, I want a first-team wage. Now, if you put him in a first-team, you should give him a first-team wage. I'm not saying give him a lot, but Newcastle have obviously given him promises and... There's no point doing the moral thing rather than and the disciplinary thing rather than actual the actual football thing. 
which is what Newcastle are doing. Newcastle are going to put him as a backup to Kieran Trippier. Uh, I think Kraft is injured and Manquillo is probably going to leave soon. Uh, so Dan Ashworth uh, for Newcastle, their director of football, has obviously uh, seen that Ashby is a good youngster for us and he's like, OK, let's bring him to Newcastle. Um, we've got Newcastle next week, so I really hope he's not in the squad. Uh, I, I just think... Um, I don't understand how he was completely ignored. Uh, I don't understand the point of saying at the start, of, right at the start, like one of his first interviews at West Ham, David Boys, when he came back, was talking about Red Bull model. Uh, but when a youngster is actually good enough, the few youngsters that are actually good enough, you don't bring through. Now, Will Greenwich was not good enough, or Will Greenwich was not good enough. He's gone to Colchester. Uh, at least he was not good enough in the end. Uh, Equa... I'm not really bothered about. I'm not. I'm not bothered about Perkins either. I'm not. I don't think we really needed him. And from what I saw, he was still developing. I thought he would keep developing at us, but clearly not. He wanted to go to Leeds. Uh, fair play. Whatever. Um, people like Ngakia was good enough, but he went downhill. We let we let go D Garner. Uh, he was good enough, but when you're at West Brom, he's gonna go downhill. He didn't never got played, but. We could have used with him, then we wouldn't have had to sell sell Halle if uh, we had Dean Garner because they're they're uh, they were working with each other very well in preseason. You saw how Mark Noble reacted. You saw how the other players reacted when he left. Um, so the academy of football, to summarise, is fucking dead. Now the good youngsters that I think we could look out for is Oli Scarls and Mubama, the people that featured, but. Uh, Skulls has recently signed a contract. Look out for Callum Marshall as well. He scored a lot in the youth side. Um, George Earthy as well. Good player from what I've seen. Um, but yeah. Uh, now there's a certain West Ham account. And if you know, you know. I'm not going to say his name. Uh, that him and... There's two like very popular West Ham accounts that are called West Ham something. I'm not going to give them the fucking... Uh, whatever uh, but they like to just be constantly negative and berating players for no reason recently berating Mikel Antonio for just saying he could leave he might not leave and uh, saying quoting things that he didn't fucking say uh, but listen stay away from these accounts online don't interact with these these weird accounts online uh, because they just chat shit they go with their own agenda and uh, they say a lot of bullshit I'm not saying I am the gospel of football truth when it comes to the West Ham community but I'm saying I don't say things for attention uh, so yeah I'll sum, I'll sum that up by just saying that the academy of football is shit uh, and we don't bring through anyone and the manager doesn't bring through anyone that is actually good enough uh, so yeah, I'll leave it at that. If you guys did like the video, leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. Uh, social media is over in the description if you want to follow me and the email for the inquiries. And I'll see you guys later.